everybody, we are Jordan, Charlie, Tanya, and we are here for our last week of camp for you. I can't believe it. It's so crazy to think that we've already done an entire summer of camp for you, nine whole weeks. I know, and we are so glad that you have been journeying those nine weeks with us. Yeah, so this morning we are going to have an intense battle of torpedo ball with our tribes. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> but the <laughs> torpedo <laughs> elbow. Before Tanya hurts herself oh. practicing her throws, make sure to grab your craft supplies right. for craft time, which is some cardboard, scissors, maybe an exacto knife if you don't have scissors, pen, pencil, markers, a hole punch, and your walking shoes. But hold up before we go and do all this fun stuff. Right. We always gotta get a prize. But oh, right. this week we're not spinning the wheel. Oh, yeah. We are going to announce what our prize is. So we have one prize, which is a free week of summer camp next summer. Yeah! yeah. So one of our crew members, Camp yeah. for You crew members, is going to win that at the end of this week. So amazing. We are so excited and dreaming about having you all here at SABC next summer. And we cannot wait to start planning all of those fun activities that we are going to be doing. But we should probably still finish the rest of this video. Let's go. Tribal Melee. All right, hello everybody. This is really fun. We are gonna play some torpedo ball for Tribal Melee today. So, how it works, we're gonna have one team on either side. And what they'll do, they each have six balls. When they get to their side, they have to stay behind the table and then they're gonna place their six balls wherever they want in whatever way they want. Then how the game works, there is the game ball right here. One team at a time will throw it, trying to knock down the other team's balls and be the winner. So this is how the scoring works. We go until one team knocks down all the rest, still has up. That team will get 10 points for the win, plus two points for every ball of theirs that is still standing up. It's gonna be that easy. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I think my team is gonna go first against Somebody, we're gonna find out right away here. Here we go. Right. Oh yeah, you beat me. Okay, so <laughs> we get to choose. You can go first. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shit. Nice. So does that mean I'm first or you're first? I don't know. What do you want to do? You won. <laughs> you pick. So how do you pick rock, paper, scissors? I don't know what's better. Well, I don't know what's better. We'll go second. <laughs> All right. I have the ball. So. I thank you. I was going to throw in like the pencil. I guess I'm going first, Dean. Yeah, you got it. Here we go. Oh, yeah! Good shot. Oh. That's a lot of water on it. All right, okay, okay, here we go. Here, you're up. Oh, 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 yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Good. All right, Cass. All right, Cass. Here you go. Take us home. Ah. That's okay. Hmm. Um, which one? The little one. The little one. Full red. All right, here we go. We're good. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Just spread them out a little bit. It's fine. It's all right. Sorry for that. Alright, squad, here we go. Oh. Yes, Oh, big old double. Here we go, Dakota. Last one. And now you, you get one more throw. Let's go. 14 points. 14. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we go, Cass. Game one, done! Who's next? On shoot. On shoot? Yeah. Okay. I won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure what you won. Amy hey, hey, like, was like, first, first or second squad. <laughs> I think Neil would have finished this season. The last game, the last shot. Yeah, we wouldn't even need it. But yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll go second. Okay. Do you want to do that to me? Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I can just help. Yeah, I don't care. All right, here we go. Beauty. 
Yeah, we are Cast. Cast. What do you want me to do? Try to hit that four step. Oh, you have to stand behind it. And yeah. then what do you do? Blow up that four one. Like, throw it. How do you throw it? However you want. No. It needs to be, uh, yeah, you can't like no, chuck it. Though. You, you just, yeah. just roll it. Can you roll it on there? Yeah. That's okay. Uh, that's good. Come on. Oh. Okay. All right, here we go. Up. Oh, come on. Dang. Wait, where is it? Center line? The screws? Yeah. All right, here we go, Dakota. I jumped the line. I know, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Cass. You're up. No, you're doing great, Cass. So I could, like, I don't know. Yeah. Ah! Just like that. That's Just perfect. like that. That all is scary. Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Okay, watch that side. Yeah, it is. Alright, here we go, Dakota. Big old double. Alright, guys. Take it home. One hit, one shot. Jordan. Oh, I got the last one, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Sudden death, here we go. Stack two. Oh. Ah. Yeah. And I don't understand sudden death. You go first. You go first, same rules. First team to knock down those two win. Alright, Dakota, here we go. Go down to one. You're the first team to go down. How does that work? You were next. Well, you like you, same thing. You get equal amount of throws. Okay, got it. So Sorry, it's not. It's not hundred, seven death. No. Okay, got it. Sorry, that's how I will. Bank shot. Uh, Bank shot's the way to go, usually. I what? Sorry. This is so much stress on me. Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought that was coming. <laughs> Come on, Jordan. It's you. Bank shots, money. <gasps> yeah. Center line. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you on shoot or just uh, on shoot? Okay. On for your round. Oh, you did. I didn't. <laughs> ah, she switched. She did paper the first time, <laughs> which is what I was also going so to do. But then she you did oh. it on. We'll go second. You can go first. Okay. Else on your first? <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, oh, oh so close. It didn't cross. It's on the screws. It's on our side. Yep, it's still there. Do it. Do it. Do it. Not real yeah. worried about it. I think we can come back strong. No. <laughs> I think Rachel's got it in the bag. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh, yeah, Rachel. All right, we'll take it home. Oh, I mean, no pressure. Yeah. On William. Oh, they went second. We don't even get another shot. Oh, okay. So that's it? Oh, damn. Hey! Woo! Good job. Good job. Oh. All right, that was awesome. I don't even need to say anything. Let's go to the Tribal Melee scores. Well, another day, another game of Torpedo Ball. And that's okay, my ladies. We tried hard. And I just want to remind you all to keep cheering for us whether it's my team, Jordan's team, Tanya's team, send us your messages, encourage us. That gets more points on the scoreboard, but I will add those points for this. And this is the last time we're gonna see the scoreboard until the finale on Friday. 
and see who takes home the Fort Cup. <laughs> All right, let's go. Those are your updated Tribal Melee scores. Craft time. Welcome to Crafts. Tanya and I are very excited to like have you guys join us for crafting. This is our last craft oh, of man. the Camp For You Summer 2020. Set your sights. Camp For You. Yeah. But maybe we'll be back. Maybe we'll be back. <laughs> yeah. So today we are making a very fun craft that you can just find in your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're yeah, using... You can do it camping. Yeah. Because you could just use a pop. You could use a cereal box yep. or a pop box. Yeah. Cool. So what are we doing with our pop box, cereal box, cardboard? We are making cardboard vases or vases. Ooh. Depends how you pronounce <laughs> it. Potato, potato. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pajama, pajama. Right? Tomato, tomato. Mm -hmm. Vases, vases. Yeah. Vases, okay. vases. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw out our vases. We'll just start with that step and then we'll tell you the next step after that. Perfect. So you might need to cut your cardboard to size. Yeah. However size you want. And then get to drawing. Yeah. <laughs> really, crafts are just about being creative with whatever is right in front of you. Mm-hmm. What you might have nearby and figuring out how to be creative all summer long. Any tips on drawing this for the because we don't know the next That's step. True. So That's any right. tips on I would recommend like three quarters to half being your vase so that you can put your flowers in the top. Because mm -hmm. we're going to cut out slits in the cardboard and then you're going to kind of tuck your flowers in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so it's just a partial drawing and then yeah. partial reel. Because if you make the whole thing the vase, it doesn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Got to think ahead. Here we go. And then once you have your pencil outline, you can use a Sharpie, a permanent marker, you could use a washable marker because cardboard, you don't need it to be permanent. That's true. It's not going to wash off. Yeah. You could probably even use paints if you Ooh. had them. Yes. So once you have your vases nicely drawn and decorated to how you want them to look like, we're gonna move on to the next part. So for this part, you could use a hole punch or you could use a pen. And what we're gonna do, or you could use scissors, maybe an X-Acto knife with some parent help, is we're gonna put holes into our cardboard whether it's in the like vase opening or just above, kind of all around, that you're going to later put your flowers into. So the problem with hole punches is that they only reach so far. <laughs> That's true. But I might use it to put around the edge just to get some nice holes. There we go. Might need to use both hands. Maybe you'll have to pull the little cut pieces out. <laughs> How's it going? It's Need some tricky. muscles? Yeah, I think so. You'd think after all those tribal melees, it'd yeah. be easier. Oh. Woo! The wind doesn't help either. Mm -mm. You know what? Maybe hole punches work some of the time. But another way you could do it is very carefully, you can just like use your pen to poke a hole, which that one was already started by the hole punch, so that was really easy. <laughs> um, may I test my pen on yes, here? Yes, you may. Um, you can take it. I'm trying to figure out a good way to show you. I'll just use like, mm -hmm. put on my pen, and then uh, I will, there we go. Yeah, so you need a hollow space underneath. If you did it right against the table, it wouldn't be able to go through. Where by putting over the scissors, she created a space for it to peek through. And my pen came apart, but that's okay. 
The Adventures of Crafting. I will put it back together. Ta -da! And so you don't have to put like a lot of them in, but you probably want to get different heights to get a really full looking bouquet. Sweet. Well, you ready to go flower hunting with me, Charlie? Let's go hunt for some flowers. So Tanya, what are we doing? Hey, so sometimes you may not have flowers just in your own backyard. So if you want to go for a drive and pick some flowers, don't pick your neighbor's flowers. But you can find them out in fields and ditches or maybe even dandelions in the park. They'll be happy that you pick those ones. But yeah, so join us as we go for a walk near camp to find some wildflowers to put in our vases today. Ooh, white flower. Ooh. We brought our scissors along to help us cut them. Country roads are some of the best places to find fun flowers and grasses. Mm-hmm, even little strange ones. You might want to find the like cluster. Because I do have to remind myself, the holes that we're putting them in are pretty big, so like little thin stems might not work so good. And then you could just find a nice spot, whether you're out in your flower hunting fields or back in your backyard or kitchen table. Mm-hmm. And plunk them all in your vase. And depending on how long your box is, you might just have to trim where they poke out at the bottom because it could happen. Or if you need to pull some leaves off, so it fits. <laughs> Charlie, this reminds me of that memory verse where it talks about how we don't have to worry about all of the things in life that God, just like the wildflowers mm -hmm. in the field, God takes care of them. Look at how he dresses them so amazingly. God's gonna look after you and me and Charlie. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And they do look lovely, just like we do. And if you're like me and you like a lot of yellow, this is perfect. <laughs> but if you want some other colors, you might have to go looking longer. That's true. And if you wanted to keep them for a while so they don't dry out right away, you could take a piece of paper towel and get it all wet and wrap all of your ends up and then put it inside a Ziploc bag or saran wrap, oh, yeah. and then they would stay wet and they wouldn't make your cardboard wet either. But just a way to keep your flowers a little fresher for a few more days. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much for joining Crafts with Charlie and I. We're gonna finish up our vases and we'll see you later. Bye. Well, this morning was a lot of fun. Taking turns, taking shots, all while playing torpedo ball. Totally, I now understand why all of you campers want to play it all the time. It's so fun it's and best. so intense. So mm -hmm. intense, I didn't it expect it. Crazy. And I also really love doing crafts with you this morning, Charlie, and going picking wildflowers with you at the end to put into our vases. Mm -hmm. And yeah, with all of that, that brings us to our final challenges for this week. Woo! So the first one comes from the craft. We want to see what your guys' vases look like, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. What kind of flowers you put in, all that kind of stuff. How sure. pretty they look. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the second one is our final female for the summer, nice. which is dress, dress up, up your, your cabin, cabin leader. leader. But they don't have cabin leaders. I know, but they could use their parents or their friends. And that could be fun. That could be mm -hmm. fun. And so with whoever you're dressing up's yeah. permission, whether it's your parents or your friends or your grandparents or whoever. It should probably be your parents though. Probably, that would be really fun. We'd so we that. want to see whether it's like costume pieces, maybe there's some face paint, maybe you're doing their hair, or maybe you're just going into their closet and picking out random clothes and making a yes. great outfit yeah. for them. We want to see pictures of how that theme meal turns out. For sure. So yeah, make sure to send in lots of videos for this week's highlight video. Yeah. We want to make it awesome. But mm -hmm. there's also an additional challenge, which we started right. earlier last week. Yeah. We want you guys to send in videos of you guys either doing our cheers, mm -hmm. tribes cheers, or just some encouragement for us because yeah. each video yeah. that's sent in will add points for us and we're getting close to the Tribal Melee final. We are, we so need that encouragement. We need that yeah. encouragement and those final points. Exactly. Yeah, and so we also wanted to remind you that we mentioned earlier too that we wanna hear your stories. 
We've been hearing great stories all summer and we want to hear yours. And this summer is no different. And so we want to hear the stories of things that you've been learning at camp, favorite memory verses, but things that you've learned, whether it's been chapels or story time or testimonies, um, send them to us in an email at campforyou.ca, campforyou at sabc.ca, we need that all, or at the link down below, just like you send in highlight video stuff. Exactly. And we really would love to be able to share those in the highlight video at the end of this week, the big summer highlight video, Ooh. because it is just so good to like hear what other people are learning, and it is a great encouragement as well. Absolutely. And you know with that, we are going to be off here right away, but we are coming back this afternoon yeah. with some campfire songs and chapel, so we hope to see you there.